Are you a granny square enthusiast? Or maybe you're a crochet newbie who's figuring out where to dive in? Are you stuck in a granny square rabbit hole? Or are you looking for a fun, quickie project to work up in a day? If so, you've clicked on the right video. Because today, I'm gonna teach you how to make this color for free 99 Beginning with materials for this flower color, we have yarn in three colors. Pear green, coral orange, and pastel pink. And I will use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, darning needle, and scissors. For our color, we need to learn how to make these two elements, the flower granny square and the flower triangle. And let's start by making this floral triangle. Start with the color of the center of the flower, and we're going to make a magic ring. Take your short yarn tail and wrap it around your two fingers. So here you can see a letter X. And then take your hook, go under and then over. Take this yarn with you and then twist and find this thread and then pull through this loop right here. And here we have the magic ring. Now use your pinky to take your working yarn and we're going to hold our work just like so. Now we're going to make chain one. Take your hook and pull this yarn through the loop, just like that. And then make another chain, take this loop and pull through. So here you can see we've made three chains. And now we're going to make eight double crochets into this magic ring. Yarn over, insert your hook into the space, take out the yarn. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over pull through two. Now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. And here we've made our first double crochet. Let's make another one. Yarn over, insert your hook into the space of the magic ring, take out the yarn. Now you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have two loops, yarn over, pull through two. Here's our second double crochet. Let's make one more double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the magic ring, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And here we have three double crochets and the first three chains that are going to count as a double crochet. And in the end of this round, we need to have nine double crochets where the first one is the three chains. And since we have four double crochets, make five more and I will meet you in the end of the row. So I'm at the end of my row and I've already made three chains that are counted as the first double crochet. Although deep down in our hearts we all know that she is the odd one out, but let's just make her feel included and count her as the first double crochet. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm going to make my last ninth double crochet with you guys. So yarn over, insert your hook into the magic ring and yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we have nine double crochets. Take your short end tail right here and just do it like this. And we're going to find our three chains. So here's one, two and the third chain. You can see this V-stitch right here. Insert your hook into that V-stitch just like so and then take your yarn and make a slip stitch so pull through these both loops just like that and then make chain one pull through take your scissors and cut off the yarn take out the hook and tighten it and voila this is our center of the flower now take the next color in my case it's this green pear color of my petals Take your short yarn tail and wrap it around your forefinger until you can see a letter X. And then take your hook, go under and then over. And here you have your slip knot. Now take this working yarn and yarn over and hold it with your forefinger. And now we're going to start our second row by inserting our hook into this stitch. So right here I'm holding my yarn just like this. So we have these two loops and we're going to make a standing half double crochet. So insert your hook just like that. Take out the yarn. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. So here's one, two and three. And here we've made our standing half double crochet. 
I'm going to hide the short yarn tail behind my work, just like that. Now yarn over and I'm going to make the second half double crochet into the same stitch. Insert your hook, take out the yarn, you have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three. So here we've made two half double crochets into the same stitch. Now let's repeat the same thing. Here's the next stitch, insert your hook into that stitch, take out the yarn and then yarn over and pull through all three. Here's one half double crochet and then yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, take out the yarn, yarn over and pull through all three. So here we've made two pairs of our half double crochets. Here's one pair and here's the second. Now let's repeat the same thing. Here's the next stitch, insert your hook, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through all three, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, take out the yarn, yarn over and pull through all three. Now this stitch is a little intimidating, she's a little bit scary, but we are going to push through together, okay? Don't give up. So yarn over. You can see in front of you the three chains that we've made and right here is the vestige of that third chain. So just try to insert the hook into that very tight stitch. And then take out your yarn, just as usual, you have three loops, and then yarn over, pull through all three. Here's one half double crochet and then repeat the same thing into that tight loop. Take out the yarn, yarn over and pull through all three. And yay, the hardest part is behind us. Now that we've made four pairs of half double crochets, go ahead and make five more pairs. And don't forget to hide these yarn tails behind your work. So just yarn over and insert your hook and hold this yarn just like that. Take out the yarn and yarn over, pull through two. And since we're hiding these short yarn tails, we won't have to weave in those ends later. So I've made eight pairs of half double crochets already and now into this last stitch I'm going to make my ninth pair of half double crochets. So yarn over and just making my one double crochet and then into the same stitch two. And now find the standing double crochet that you've made in the beginning of the row. And from this angle you can see this first V stitch. So insert your hook into that V stitch and then take the yarn and pull through everything. This is called a slip knot. Now we're going to skip one stitch and make into the next one one double crochet. So yarn over, skip one stitch, insert your hook into the next one, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we're going to make into the same stitch one extended double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same loop, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through one, and then yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. This is how you make an extended double crochet. And now we're going to make a treble crochet into the same stitch. So yarn over twice, and then insert your hook into the same stitch, take out the yarn. Now you have four loops on your hook yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. So you're pulling through two three times. Now we're going to make into the next stitch three treble crochets. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into the next stitch, take out the yarn, you have four loops, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have two loops, and yarn over, pull through two. So here's one treble, make two more, yarn over twice, insert your hook into the same loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more, so yarn over twice, insert your hook, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So here's our three treble and into the next stitch we're going to make one treble, one extended double crochet and one double crochet. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into the next stitch, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Here's one treble, and now let's make one extended double crochet into the same stitch, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through one, and then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And now into the same stitch, make one double crochet. Insert your hook, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now skip one stitch and make a slip stitch with the next stitch. So here's one, we're skipping this one, and insert your hook into this, take out the yarn, and pull through both of the loops. And here we have the first petal of our flower. Now let's make the second petal together. So yarn over, skip one, and make into the next one one double crochet. Take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then one extended double crochet into the same stitch. Take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now yarn over twice and we're gonna make a treble crochet into the same stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And now we're gonna make three trebles into the next stitch, right here. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Here's one treble, and make two more into the same stitch. Here's the second. And then And here's my three treble crochets. And then I'm gonna yarn over twice and make into the next stitch one treble, one extended double crochet, and one double crochet. So here's my treble, and then my extended double crochet, pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two. And one double crochet into the same stitch. So just pull through two twice. And I'm gonna skip one stitch and make a slip stitch with the next one. Just like that. And here's our second petal. Now go ahead and make the last petal and I will meet you in the end of this row. So right here into this stitch I've already made one treble, one extended and one double crochet. And I'm gonna skip one and make into this stitch a slip stitch. Right here. Insert your hook and pull through everything. And then make chain one and cut off the yarn. Take out the hook, tighten your knot, and here's what we have. Now take your third color, in my case it's pastel pink, and make a slip knot. And once you have your slip knot ready, yarn over twice and you're going to hold this yarn using your forefinger. And I'm gonna start with this petal right here, which is next to my yarn tail. And right here on our petal, we can see the highest point of the petal is where we've made three treble crochets. And here's one treble crochet, two and three. We're gonna insert our hook into the second treble crochet of this trio. So take your working yarn and insert your hook into the second treble crochet of this trio, right here. And then take out the yarn. Now you have four loops, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, and pull through two. And here's our standing treble crochet. Now we're going to make chain one, and work one more treble crochet into the same stitch. And we're also going to hide this yarn tail behind our work. So yarn over twice, insert your hook, into the same stitch, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, and then hide your short end tail, just like that, and then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So here we've made one treble, one chain, and one treble. And now yarn over and make into the next stitch one extended double crochet and one double crochet. So insert your hook into the next stitch, take out the yarn, Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over and work your double crochet into the same stitch. So yarn over, pull through two twice. And now yarn over and work into the next stitch one double crochet. So just a regular double crochet. 
and then yarn over and make one double crochet into the next stitch. And then into the next stitch we're going to make one extended double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over twice. And right here is where we've made our slip stitch. We're going to make into that stitch one treble. Insert your hook into the tight stitch, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two. You have two loops and yarn over, pull through two. And now from this point to here, we're gonna mirror what we've made right here. So that means yarn over and we're going to make one extended double crochet into the next stitch. Insert your hook into the next stitch, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we're going to make one double crochet into the next stitch right here. Make one double crochet and then yarn over and make into the next stitch one double crochet. So after making your two double crochets, you're going to yarn over and make into the next stitch one double crochet and one extended double crochet. So right here I'm making my one double crochet and then into the same stitch I'm going to make one extended double crochet. So after finishing making your one double crochet and one extended double crochet into the same stitch, now you can see that here's our three trebles that we've made in the previous row, which is the highest point of the petal. And into the second treble crochet of this trio, we're going to make one treble, chain one, and one treble, just as we did right here in the beginning of the row. So now yarn over twice, insert your hook into the stitch, take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two and then chain one and then yarn over twice and make into the same stitch one treble and now that we've finished this side of the triangle we're going to repeat the same thing on this side so after making your one treble chain one and one treble we're going to yarn over and make into the next stitch one extended double crochet and one double crochet into the same stitch just insert your hook take out the yarn and make your extended double crochet and then yarn over and make your double crochet into the same stitch just like that and then yarn over and work one double crochet into the next stitch and then yarn over and work one more double crochet into the next stitch here's two double crochet that we've made and now make one extended double crochet into the next stitch right here pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two. And then into the lowest point, we're gonna make one treble. So insert your hook into that stitch, take out the yarn and pull through two, three times, just like that. And then make one extended double crochet into the next stitch. And after extended double crochet, just make one double crochet into the next stitch and then one more double crochet into the next stitch and after making your two double crochets make into the next stitch one double crochet and one extended double crochet so here's my double crochet and then into the same stitch i'm making my extended double crochet and then yarn over twice and i'm gonna make into the second treble of this trio one treble chain one and one treble here's my treble and then chain one and yarn over twice and I'm gonna make one treble into the same stitch. Now keep working this side of the triangle and I will meet you right here. So I'm getting closer to the end of the row and I've already made these two double crochets and now into the last stitch I'm gonna make one double crochet and one extended double crochet. And to finish off this row I'm gonna find the standing treble crochet right here and I'm going to make a slip stitch right into that stitch just like that and then chain one and cut off the yarn and now flip your work to the wrong side and we're going to secure our magic ring so thread your needle 
Now we're going to make a knot. Insert your needle, take your yarn, wrap it around your needle, just like that, and take out this needle. So now we have this knot right here. And then just hide your yarn tail. And then cut off the rest of the yarn. And here we have the finished triangle. In order to make the color, we need three flower triangles and four flower squares. A step-by-step -step tutorial for this flower square is up on my channel. You can click here in the info card or find the link in the description of this video. And once you've made your four squares and three triangles, we're ready to stitch them all together. And the layout looks like this, and we're going to join these triangles with the squares using our crochet hook. So I'm gonna start off with joining these two pieces together starting from this point. And take your pink yarn and make a slip knot. And right here in front of us we can see in the corner treble, chain 1 and treble. And the same thing for the square, 1 treble, chain 1 and 1 treble. So what I'm gonna do is insert my hook into the chain 1 stitch of the triangle. And then I'm going to find the chain 1 of the square and insert my hook into that stitch not the chain space. So just like that. And then I'm going to take my working yarn like so and then make a slip stitch. So pull through everything. Now let's find the next stitch, which is the treble crochet from the corner of the triangle. You can see here's the vestige of the treble and keep in mind that we're inserting the hook into the bottom half of that stitch of the triangle and joining with the top half of the treble in the square and then just join the stitches together using a slip stitch so pull through everything as you can see by now we are using slip stitches to join our pieces so find the next stitch right here insert into the bottom half of the v and then find the top half of the v of the square take out the yarn and pull through all of the two loops so we are basically joining two half stitches that are closer to each other. For the triangle you can see that we are connecting the left side of the stitch. And for the square we are joining the right side of the according stitch. So insert the hook into the left side of the triangle and then into the right side of the square. And then take your working yarn and pull through all of the loops. Just like that. So continue making the slip stitches and you want to keep in mind to make them loosely. Once you get to the end of the row, we'll see in the corner treble, chain 1 and treble in the triangle and in the square as well. So here I'm gonna just join these trebles together first, put the hook into the bottom half stitch of the triangle and then find the top half stitch of the square and work your slip stitch as usual. And now work your slip stitch joining the chain 1 of the triangle and the square. And then make chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And here's how the joining looks like so far. Now continue joining other pieces like we did here. Once you have all the pieces joined together, we are ready to crochet the border. I'm going to use this pastel pink color and we are going to start from this point. So make a slip knot with your yarn and take this corner right here and you can see that here's one treble, chain one and one treble. I'm gonna insert my hook into this chain one stitch. So just right here into the V stitch right here. Take out the yarn and then yarn over, pull through two. So here's my standing single crochet. And I'm going to hide this yarn tail behind my work. And then here's the next stitch, which is a treble crochet. Insert your hook, take out the yarn, and then yarn over, pull through two. And just keep working your single crochet row, just like that. So insert your hook, take out the yarn, yarn over, and pull through two. Keep working your single crochet row until you reach this point. So I'm getting closer to the joining seam of the square and the triangle. And right here in the corner of the square, you can see here's treble, chain one, and treble. And into this treble stitch, I'm going to work a half double crochet stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into this treble stitch, take out the yarn, yarn over, and pull through all three. And then right here next to this slip stitch, you can see this chain one stitch. Yarn over and work 
one half double crochet into that chain stitch. Take out the yarn, yarn over and pull through all three. And then into the slip stitch we are going to make one double crochet stitch. So yarn over and insert your hook into that slip stitch right here. Take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. And on this side of the triangle, I'm also going to make two half double crochet stitches, one into the chain stitch and one into the treble crochet. So yarn over, find the chain stitch. Here's my chain stitch, and I'm also going to hide this yarn tail behind my work, and then take out the yarn, yarn over and pull through all three. And then yarn over and find the treble. Here's the treble of the corner. Insert your hook into that treble and work your half double crochet. And from this point, I'm just going to work my regular single crochets. So here's the next stitch. Just insert your hook, yarn over and pull through two. So let's make a little recap, shall we? We've made here two half double crochets and then one double crochet into the slip stitch of the joining seam and then we've made two half double crochets and in all other stitches we just made regular single crochets. The reason why we did that is to minimize the surface unevenness. From now on keep working your regular single crochets for the exceptions of these joining seams. In those places make two half double crochets and then one double crochet into the slip stitch and then make two half double crochets. And you're going to work your border from this point and go all the way through and I will meet you right here. So here I am, but as you can see here, the stitches are not so defined, but we're just going to make regular single crochets. So just insert the hook into the stitches. Here's the chain one and work into that stitch one single crochet. Take out the yarn and pull through two and here's the slip stitch and just do the same make a regular single crochet and hide your yarn tail behind the work so here's how my border looks like and now that the awkward part is done keep working single crochet into every stitch and i will meet you right here here we are near the corner of our square and i'm going to work one single crochet into this stitch And then here you can see the standing single crochet we've made in the beginning of the row. I'm going to work one single crochet next to that stitch. And now we're going to make a chain of 60. So go ahead and just pull through just like that. Here's one, two, three. And keep working your chains until you have 60. Once you have a chain of 60, we're going to make slip stitches through the back loop. So on this side you can see these V stitches and if you turn it on this side you can see these little bumps. They are called back loops. And here's the first back loop and here's the second. We are going to insert our hook into the second back loop. And just insert your hook into that back loop. Just like that. And then take your yarn and pull through all of the loops. So here's our first slip stitch. Let's find the next back loop. Here it is. Insert your hook into that loop right here and then make a slip stitch. And that is how you make slip stitches through the back loop. And here's how your strap should look like. And keep working your slip stitches through the back loop and I will meet you right here. So I'm getting closer to the end of my strap and I'm just working my last slip stitches through the back loop. And here's the last stitch. I'm just going to make one more. And then I'm going to find the standing single crochet that I've made in the beginning of the row, right here, and I'm going to work a slip stitch. Just like that. Now we're ready to crochet the border with the bubbles. So take your work and we're going to start off with making a chain of three. One, two, and three. And then hold the third chain with your fingers and then make three more chains. One, two, and three. Now yarn over and then insert your hook into the third chain from the hook. And then take out the yarn, yarn over, pull through two. And then you have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch. 
take out the yarn yarn over pull through two now you have three loops yarn over insert your hook into the same loop take it out and then yarn over and pull through two now we have four loops on the hook and we are going to make yarn over and pull through all four loops and here's what we have this is the half of our bubble and now we're going to make another half so make a chain of three one two and then three and then yarn over and insert your hook into the back loop of the third chain here it is insert your hook into that loop take out the yarn yarn over pull through two you have two loops yarn over insert your hook take out the yarn and then yarn over pull through two we have three loops and just make one more time insert your hook into the same loop and then yarn over pull through two now we have four loops so just yarn over and pull through all four here's what we have and now we're going to find this loop right here and insert your hook into that loop and we're going to make a slip stitch so take the yarn and pull through the loops just like that and then we're going to make a single crochet so take your hook go under this chain take this yarn now you have two loops yarn over and pull through two and now make a chain of three one two and three and now on this square we're going to count one two three and four and place your hook into the fourth stitch right here take out the yarn and make a single crochet and here's our first bubble and now we're going to make the same thing so make a chain of three one two and three and then hold this chain with your fingers and make three more chains one two and three and then yarn over and insert your hook into the third chain from the hook take out the yarn yarn over pull through two yarn over insert your hook take out the yarn yarn over pull through two now you have three loops so make one more time until you have four loops on the hook and then yarn over and pull through all four and then chain three and then yarn over and find the back loop of the third chain and then yarn over pull through two you have two loops and then one more time now you have three loops and then the last one now you have four loops and then yarn over and pull through all four and now insert your hook into this loop right here and then take the yarn and pull through both of the loops and then we're going to take our hook go under the chain take this yarn and then yarn over and pull through both of these loops and now make a chain of three one two and three and now we're going to count four stitches so one two three four and place your hook into that fourth stitch and work your single crochet and this is how our bubbles should look like after working your bubble and making a chain of three i'd highly suggest to work your single crochet into the very corner of the granny flower for example in my case i have the distance of four stitches here here but here i've made a distance of three stitches and the reason why i've only made three stitches distance here is because i really wanted to place the single crochet in the corner and this is how the corner should look like from this point continue working your border with the bubbles and go all the way through and then i will meet you right in this corner i'm getting closer to the end of my border as you can see right here here i've made my chain three and a bubble and chain three and i'm going to find the corner of my square one two three and four i'm going to insert my hook into the fourth stitch and place my single crochet right into that corner and i'm going to make a chain of 60. one two three here's my chain of 60 and now we're going to make the slip stitches through the back loop so right here you can see this v's and on the other side the back loops are here and we're going to start from the second back loop from the hook so skip the first one and then here's the second insert your hook into the second and start making your 
slip stitch just like that here's the next one and once you get to the end of your strap here i've got two stitches left just make your final slip stitches through the back loop and here's my last stitch i'm going to place my slip stitch right there and now that the strap is finished we're going to cut off the yarn leave about this distance and then take out your hook now we're going to use our darning needle find the corner of your granny square and you can see this v-stitch here insert your needle just like that and then insert your needle into this stitch so that we can imitate this v pattern. And here's what we have as you can see it looks very seamless and then tie a knot on the wrong side of your work so insert your needle and then wrap it around just like that and make a knot and now just hide your yarn tail in between the stitches and cut off the rest of the yarn and our color is done if you want to make a matching headband then click right here or we can stare deeply into each other's eyes.